A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? from old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the US of A and to having you back home. Salud. Salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, whoa, whoa. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know... The, guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no Friday, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I want to walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Vito! Come on! He's not Let him go! Yeah, we'll be right back. Hey, Vito, look who's back. You're looking pretty good for a guy who just got shot. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? 
Francesca said you were coming back. Finally, some good news, eh? Yeah, no kidding. Take good to be back. Self, huh? You know, I'm real glad you're all right. Neighborhood just wasn't the same without you. Well, everything still looks Get the same around here, here you? including you. So, uh, what are you doing later? Hey, you know, the usual cooking dinner for Tony and the kids. Oh, you got married? Boy, you didn't waste any time, huh? Come on, Vito. I'm 21 years old here. Of course I'm married with two kids. Yeah, well, it was real good seeing you. Say hello to your mother for me, will you? Do I look like the enemy to you? Ah, uh, hello, Mrs. Uh... Vito? It is you. You look so handsome in that uniform. Your mother must be so proud. Uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How is he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago. Yeah, uh, Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. Such a pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I just never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benvenuti, signore. Sono già capato la volontà. Siamo a Cirenni. Proviamo a fare un po' di You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. Uh, so how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, we don't want to talk about that now. So, uh, you got a boyfriend yet? Not yet. What's that? The boys in the neighborhood these days are not so good. She'll meet the right man one day. How are you, mio bambino? It must have been so terrible. I was so afraid. I prayed for you every day. I'm okay, Ma. I drove a jeep most of the time. Sometimes I had a fight. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. 
I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your pup. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Leo. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't we'll care if you money. gotta sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito. You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh yeah? Yeah. Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. <clears throat> show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. <clears throat> That's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. <laughs> 